second problem prove that root 3 cosec 20 degrees minus sec 20 degrees is equal to 4. left hand side root 3 cosec 20 minus sec 20 cosec theta is equal to 1 by sin theta and sec theta is 1 by cos theta because they are reciprocals each other. So, this can be written root 3 by sin 20 minus 1 by cos 20. Now, take the LCM here sin 20 cos 20. Now, what do we get? This is root 3 cos 20 minus sin 20. Multiply by 2 and divide by 2. We get this is 2 into root 3 by 2 cos 20 minus 1 by 2 sin 20 by sin 20 into cos 20. Now, root 3 by 2 means sin 60 that is cos 60 1 by 2. So, 2 into sin 60 cos 20 minus cos 60 sin 20 by sin 20 cos 20. Okay? Am I correct? This is sin A cos B minus cos A sin B. This is 2 times sin of 60 degrees minus 20 degrees by sin 20 cos 20. This is 2 sin 40 degrees by sin 20 cos 20. So, now sin 40 let us change. This is 2 of sin of 2 into 20 degrees by sin 20 cos 20 sin 2 theta. What is the formula for sin 2 theta? That is 2 sin theta cos theta. So, this can be written 2 of 2 sin 20 cos 20 by sin 20 cos 20. So, 2 into 2 4 sin 20 cos 20 by sin 20 cos 20. So, now these two can be gets cancelled. We have 4 this is RHS. Third problem, prove that tan 9 degrees minus tan 27 degrees minus cot 27 degrees plus cot 9 degrees is equal to 4. Now, left hand side tan 9 degrees minus tan 27 degrees minus cot 27 degrees plus cot 9 degrees. First, let us rearrange the terms of the left hand side. 
tan 9 and cot 9, tan 9 degrees plus cot 9 degrees. Take minus common, tan 27 plus cot 27 degrees. So, we have an identity very, very, very important identity we have that is tan A plus cot A is equal to 2 cosecant 2 A. Using this identity, these two the values can be written in terms of cosecant ratio. So, this can be written 2 cosecant 18 degrees, am I correct? minus this can be written 2 cosecant 54 degrees. Now, this can be written 2 by sin 18 degrees and minus this can be written 2 by sin 54 degrees. We know both the values. Here, sin 18 degrees is equal to root 5 minus 1 by 4, whereas sin 54 is equal to root 5 plus 1 by 4. So, these two values are very, very important. So, now this can be written. So, now 2 by 2 divided by root 5 minus 1 by 4 minus 2 divided by root 5 plus 1 by 4. So, now this can be written 8 by root 5 minus 1 minus 8 by root 5 plus 1 LCM this into this A minus B into A plus B. We can write 5 minus 1 8 into root 5 plus 1 minus 8 into root 5 minus 1. So, brackets of 8 root 5 plus 8 minus 8 root 5 plus 8 by 4. So, now check the numerator these two gets cancelled. We have this equals to 16 by 4 4 1 ja 4 ja. So, 4 which is equal to RHS. Fourth problem, if sin alpha by A is equal to cos alpha by b, then through that a sin to alpha plus b cos to alpha is equal to b. Okay, let us prove it. So, given, so let us suppose sin alpha by A cos alpha by B equals to K, which does not equal to 0. So, now sin alpha becomes a k and cos alpha becomes b into k b k. Now, consider the left hand side that is a sin to alpha plus b cos to alpha. Now, the cos to alpha can be written in terms of sin. This is sin to alpha also we can write a into 2 sin alpha cos alpha plus b into 
1 minus 2 sin square alpha. In this let us substitute sin alpha value cos alpha value. This is a of 2 a k into b k 2 a b k square plus b of 1 minus a square k square 2 a square k square. This we can write 2 a square b k square plus b minus 2 a square b k square. These two gets cancelled. We have b. This is RHS right hand side. 